today we are up on what we are calling Project Eclipse to go move our boat from our theme to Bayfield, Wisconsin. We are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. So this is what happens when your cars are old. We had the doors open, or Stefan had the doors all open most of the day while he was loading it. And opening and closing them, which uses power. Maybe we should bring this thing with us. You have mm -hmm. the jumper cables? Yeah, I have the jumper cables, but I'll bring this too. I have an extension. Since we're sleeping in the van tonight. Yeah. Today we are up. Now it is April 26th, 2020, which means we are still technically on lockdown due to the lovely coronavirus. Um, however, voting is still allowed at the given states, and we will not really be interacting with people. So we're just going to be staying in our car, following, watching the remote boat following them. Um, hopefully we'll be able to sleep on the boat. I don't know. But we're really not going to be interacting with people. We brought um, our own food. So we really will only stop at gas stations when necessarily we have our masks. We have our wipes. Um, anyway. But our biggest goal was to move her from Racine to Bayfield because we only have... How long do we have the marina in Racine? Until the end of May. Until the end of May. And then um, we already paid for, for Bayfield for the full year. So we just want to get her to her home marina. And well, Bayfield's two hours closer. We don't want it. Yeah, considerably Five closer. Five and a half hours away. can have it three hours away. And we should be able to, um, uh, recreational boating and stuff like that is going to be open in the state of Minnesota. Although the, Bayfield's still in Wisconsin. And I think boating is still allowed in Wisconsin as well. So we should still be able to go there. We do know that we won't be able to anchor out um, until... Well, not in the National Lakeshore, but not... Badland Island's not in the National Lakeshore. And there's, there's places, I think, between Pikes Bay and Ashland where it's pretty shallow in there, so I'm guessing there's spots to anchor in there. I don't really know. But otherwise, we'll we won't be able to anchor at any of the um, islands until end of June, at the earliest. I mean, depending on how things show. Mm -hmm. June twentieth, but either way, she'll be at the marina, and we can go visit, get stuff done, and go some of the other places. So, anyway, the road trip. Right now, we've got we're driving four hours, and then tomorrow we're gonna get up early, drive about final hour and a half, and meet the moving dude who's driving our boat to make it. So, yay! So we're getting close to. We're either gonna be staying at a truck stop or at a rest stop. So we're gonna be sleeping in the car. So hopefully tomorrow night we'll be staying in the boat on the back of the truck. We don't know, otherwise it'll be another night in the car. Um, but we're almost there. I really hope we can stay in the boat. That'll be a lot more comfortable. Yeah. All right, well, it's dark. We're gonna stay at the rest stop for the night. Moving all the stuff from the back to the front. In our fancy van. I've been searching for the camping light. It has it somewhere. But we have headlights. Camping in the van. So we're having chickpea sandwiches. Chickpea salad sandwiches. It's like tuna salad except for chickpeas. It's delicious. This is how we avoid contact with people during the global pandemic. Well, I'm guessing we'll probably get it like Subway or something tomorrow, but who knows. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He rigged up his blanket back. It's really hard to see, but got some mats down. There's sleeping bags, but it's pretty warm in here. I was worried about freezing to death because, you know, it's April. But, I think we're going to be plenty warm. I'm actually a little bit too warm right now. Alright. 
time for some YouTube. Day two of Project Eclipse is commencing. We made it through sleeping in the van. It's not exactly comfortable. I'm a little cold. But, um, not bad. Stopped at McDonald's for some coffee because they're one of the few places that are open. Well, it's six o'clock in the morning and Starbucks are closed during the pandemic. Um, and we splurged on some McDonald's hash browns. I don't know if the oil is technically vegan, but, you know, it's potatoes. So, anyway, we're off to racing. Don't worry about being technical on this. <laughs> so this should be our last time here at Racine Riverside Marine. Just picking up our boat. Or watching it get picked up. Promised what? Who paid for what? Yeah. What's going? Few times in her day. Ready to take off here. Originally, we were going to do an on the water test because we bought this in the winter, but um, because of the coronavirus, um, we weren't exactly sure how all this was going to go down, and this just made it easier. We're pretty confident that the boat's going to be fine. It has a new engine, so um, we decided that was a risk worth willing. We were willing to take, so we uh, decided to forego the water on water test and release the funds to the. Um, what? You need me? Final strap down is occurring. We'll have Stefan moving boats before you know. <laughs> You're a good helper. Okay. Alright. We're done. All yeah. secure. I'm to put some signs on the back so I'll be about 10 minutes. Okay. We are off ladies and gentlemen. There she is. Heading out to her new home in Pikes Bay. Here we go. Four hours to Manaqua. So I have four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Stefan happened to notice during transport that our keel, I don't know if you can see it there, the keel is supposed to be supported. And that little thing that came off, we're fixing it right now. Not we're following. Because basically right now our boat is just suspended. I don't know what they're gonna do, but anyway, glad he caught it. We weren't actually sure if the loose feather was a big deal or not. Um, I thought the boom was on top of it. We didn't, I mean, it was at one point, but we didn't know if it was a big deal, so. We didn't really call him up, but he must have saw it, and on the road again. Taking a little stop at the Gander Mountain, because that's what you do during a pandemic. Um, because our driver wants to check out an RV. We're still curious to see whether or not there's going to be the hotel where he's been planning on staying. It's going to be open. I'm going to say no. We are going to stay in the boat. He might be staying in the boat with us. He might. He doesn't seem to be aware that there is a pandemic. I think he's aware. I just don't think he's really is that fussed about it. That's okay. This is theoretically where we're staying. We're staying in the boat. I guess we'll be waiting to 
should find out. Okay, not a huge surprise. Um, the hotel is closed. So, um, we're heading over to Hurley, Wisconsin. We don't really know what's there, but apparently he has a place to stay there. So, we're still staying on the boat, but we're staying at the boat in Hurley. Looking fab after being in the car all day. Anyway, so this is where we're staying. I think it's a... It's a hotel. That happens to have rooms during the pandemic. Stefan and I are going to be staying in the boat. Stefan just took the captain to go pick, take some takeout from a place. I'm going to run over to the grocery store next door and see if they have anything. Not a lot of options for plant-based eaters here, but we do still have some leftovers in the car. And there's a liquor store closed, so anyway. <laughs> um, first night, actually this will be our first night on the boat, out of the water, but first night on the boat um, in a hotel parking lot during the pandemic. Sometimes. All right, we're in for the night. We got some onion rings and side salad and guacamole, some veggies, wasabi peas, some chips, boxed wine, grapefruit juice, agua. We are set for the Las Noche. In the boat! This will be our first night on the boat, right? In a parking lot, and a day's in. Nope. You ready to take off for the last morning? And the day we will be in Bakefield, and she will be in her new slip at Marina. There she is. She already in there? In there. Well. No, the truck's in there, yeah. The truck's back. She's already backed in. This is. Down here. And we, we can check out if there's a webcam on top of that building right there. So we'll be able to, if we put some sort of identifying mark, you can definitely, we should definitely be able to see her. Looks like everything's working since we forego the, we forewent the water trial. It's good to see that it's working. Let's see how Stefan's docking skills are. We did take a docking course. So we could have got a bigger slip, but they're more expensive. So we are just like, we'll hang out just a little bit. They approved us to be in the slip, so. Lo I'm loading stuff onto the boat, stuff that's gonna live on it. We think if there is a bucket, it's in one of those last front lazarettes. Well, it couldn't, it never hurts to have another bucket. Right? Can't have too many buckets. So, Stefan's not very happy about this. He's one of the guys that was helping, I think, about this box thing right at the end of our dock. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. It is a little chilly outside, and now it's currently raining. You'll probably see that behind me. Maybe not. There are definitely rain coming down. Um, anyway, but we've got a lot of stuff unloaded. We've got till about three today, three or four. It's still about 
10.30 right now before we have to head back to the real world. Unfortunately, um, so we're gonna start unloading. Yay! Stefan's outside right now. He is, um, you can probably see him a little through there. He is, we've got new road for the anchor and he is supposed to soak, so he's dumping it in the water right now backwards so the chain will be on deck the line will be in the water and he's gonna soak that anyway time to start packing and looking so gorgeous anyway later Discovery. It's kind of good at training because we do have some leakage occurring, so we're going to have to reseal these portholes on this side and over there. All the hatches seem okay. So before we leave today, we're going to have to like temporarily put something to ensure that we don't get any excessive water damage. But we do have some towels and we have paper towels, so we'll get that all set up. And we'll be back around the weekend before the 11th, which is Stefan's birthday. So we'll probably be doing that as priority one. Thanks. But I'm glad it's raining so we know that. Sure. Yeah, otherwise we come back with a bunch of water. We don't have any duct tape or any of that stuff with us. We don't have any duct tape and we don't have any, uh, I think it's called tile drain tape. It's for joining tile drain sections together. And I have some at home, but of course I didn't bring it. We'll just jam more paper towels in there for now. Well, if you want to run and go get something, I would do it while it's raining. I mean, some kind of tape is all we can do for now. Yeah, and then we, but it's a priority. Look at it. We'll do it right away. Yeah, to rebed the windows. Because I can work on getting the um, garbage cans in, in while you're gone. Okay. And uh, just before you drill through. That well, number one, I'm gonna start gonna with, reuse those screws, is what you said. I'm gonna reuse those screws, but I gotta get everything lined up. And Just check behind the, on the other side of yep. what you're drilling into if you, if you put that one in the head. Okay, all right. How's that? We caulked with some holes in there too that we're, we're gonna permanently fix once the mast is up. That one still has some light coming through it. I'll have to give that one another dab. So, this boat has been stored indoors, so. There's no water damage because it was in store outside, but there are some areas of leakage. Yeah, the guy, actually, Jim, our driver, said that while the boat was stored at his yard, it was always stored indoors. They never even, they never winterized it. So this this boat is now going to be go from being pampered and barely used to... Good and hard and put away wet. <laughs> it's raining. I know, it's raining. Um, this one is pretty steady, so we do need to get this one dressed. Yeah. Those two have kind of... That corner's worse yeah. than this one. This stuff, this is the stuff where the guy's like, slaps on the outside of the boat and it stops the leaking. Oh, well maybe... So, I, I think we can probably cut it in half. I gotta evaluate it. Okay. I got two rolls there. So, we're gonna leave the boat like this. Bunch of paper towel to hopefully prevent too much damage from leaking. Put a bunch of heated and weird tape stuff on the outside and it did like stop it a little bit, but still coming in. Leak, leak lowest point there. It's there's even some water in there. So we're protecting, but we definitely are gonna have to reseal these windows but we can't do it today so hopefully this will prohibit too much damage in the meantime we're gonna head home soon all right she's back there we're getting ready to leave it's a shitty day and we know our boat is leaking but we know it's under control hopefully it's managed. This is 
good as I can get for it. Turn my butt warmer on. Sorry, I didn't turn any butt warmer on. I just got the car down here. I'm not, no, not feeling comfortable. <laughs> Are you moist? Oh, when we get home, you can chillax. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be chillaxed. I know you won't be, but at least you'll be warm. Like, obsessively watching the weather for up here. I'm sure it's going to be raining like this for a few days. 